I think the relationship between durable and lightweight is very complex and it's really easy to do one or the other very well and it's sort of difficult to combine them and to sort of find that 60-40 because you have to pick which one is 60 and which one's 40. But I think trying to find that balance is, is the hardest part of product development. So we are here in Silverton. Um, to get to test a couple of the prototypes that we've built for the new Mutant series. In addition to that, we've rounded up a couple of guides, an athlete, to try to get their unique insight into, into pack design and what they're looking for in an Alpine pack. So we've got these guys out here, gotten on some ice today. It's spring climbing out here to be sure. Fortunately, a lot of these guys are already carrying a current version of the Mutant. And so they're able to offer insight whether or not they've cut off the compression straps, whether or not they use the helmet carry. So what features are important to them and what's held up over time? I like as few features as possible on the pack. Uh, when I go to pack it for the day, I want to have as small a pack as possible. And the more stuff that's stitched to it or put in the way or dividers or whatnot, just get in the way of this game of Tetris that I play pack in my pack. Next is how it fits over your shoulders, whether you have a kiwi coil on you or you have extra slings on you that you can get off and on, how it fits over your helmet, how when you look up route, it fits and has a place for the helmet to cradle into to look up at routes. Because when you're alpine climbing, you're constantly looking up and down, up and down. So if it's constantly getting caught, that makes it not user friendly. Craftsmanship is the most important feature for me in a pack because when I'm on an alpine climb, I really want to know that my pack is going to be reliable for the duration of that time period. I don't want to be worrying about any of the stitching, buckles, any other of the associated features which make the pack something that I want to bring on that program or that trip. I think it's easy to be able to pick up a bag and say what you like and don't like, but to have a relationship with that bag for three years and to be able to still say what you like and don't like, it's just a stronger relationship and so it's better feedback. It's easy to make a super simplified bag. Just strip it all, it's ultra lightweight, there's nothing on it. And it's also easy, really easy, is to over feature the pack. So finding that intersection of uh, useful and sort of overbuilt is actually a challenge and I think one that we struggle with every day. And so now that we're updating it, we're just, we're reassessing that all over again. And I think having guides, athletes, retailers, weekend warriors, and ourselves do that, I think we're gonna make a really special bag. <laughs> Hi, Merrily here with Slumberjack. Here we have the Lapland sleeping bag. This is one heck of a bag. It has a dual zone insulation system, meaning we've put two different types of insulation in this bag in the key areas that you need it. The top has a dry down insulation, which makes it super warm and cozy, while the bottom has our Slumberloft Pro synthetic insulation, which does not compress when you lay on it, thus providing more warmth. These bags, have a hood-like construction and our arms out feature, giving you the option to pull your arms out, read a book, dig into your pack, or do whatever you need without losing that warmth, especially on those cold mornings when you just don't want to get out of your bag. They also have dual zips on either side, giving you a venting option so you can throw a leg out or vent throughout the night, making it extremely comfortable. Lastly, these bags pack down to a great stuff sack so you can go backpacking with them, take them into the high country, and they're not gonna be a huge, cumbersome thing to carry around. The Lapland sleeping bag is your go-to choice, as it has the dual zone insulation, it has a nice, comfortable, mummy-like fit, and it packs down to a small, lightweight stuff sack, making it a great choice for whatever adventure you're headed to next.
For decades, MSR's Dromedary and Drom Light hydration bags have provided serious adventurers with reliable water on demand. Now, the bag's updated designs only improve these collapsible and time-tested water haulers. The Dromedary bag is still our burliest solution for collapsible backcountry water storage, built of abrasion-resistant 1,000 denier fabric. Engineered to endure the abuse of expedition crews, it can handle everything from boiling water to freezing. Its heavy-duty exterior is now hydrophobic to keep it from soaking up extra water weight, and inside, an improved food-grade lining offers better tasting water. The new lower-profile 3-in-1 cap lets you fill, drink, and pour with greater ease, and streamlined webbing with new grommet locations improve pack attachment and hanging. For fast and light travel and general trips into the backcountry, our new Drom Light bags refine ultralight, ultra-compact water hauling. Reconstructed of a lightweight, durable film, these bags deliver high-capacity water storage, yet fold down to the size of their cap. This supreme packability comes with the weight savings to match, keeping you moving efficiently on the trail. Like its earlier sibling, the Drom Light bag features rugged RF welded seams and the low-profile 3-in-1 cap. The new Dromedary and Drom Light bags are now designed to each answer a particular need. Whether you're on an alpine-style expedition or a fast-paced thru-hike, our water storage bags keep life's most vital resource reliably at your fingertips.